So we need to be careful here because the partial derivative of z with respect to x, z contains v and u, and u and v both contain x. So we're going to have to use implicit differentiation. So the partial derivative of z with respect to x equals differentiating the v squared, first of all with respect to v is 2v times the partial derivative of v with respect to x, minus 2, and then we differentiate the rest of it using the product rule. That gives us x du dx add u, that's differentiating that bit. Now, du, the partial derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 4y, and the partial derivative of v with respect to x is equal to y squared. All we have to do now is plonk all of that into here, and that gives us 2, v is xy squared, dv dx is equal to y squared minus 2, x du dx is equal to 4y, add 4xy, which is u, and tidying all of this lot up, that gives us 2xy to the 4 minus 16xy, which we can take out the factors, giving us 2xy y cubed minus 8, which is answer B.